What's going on everybody? I'm Claudio Zavala. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. So today we're going to do a little something with Adobe Spark. I've created a video before tutorial. Uh, if you can catch it by clicking on the links below. Uh, but today I wanted to do something unique with Spark Post. For those of you who don't have a graphic design background, there's a cool way to create some awesome images using text and masking the text with an image so you can see the image behind uh, the area where the text is. Uh, it'll make more sense once you see it here, but before we go and do that, let's go ahead and run the bumper. As I mentioned before, we're gonna take a look at Adobe Spark and create some really cool text graphics a lot of graphic designers will use applications like Photoshop and Illustrator to do this and not many people can afford those or know how to use them, but everybody and anybody can use Adobe Spark Post. So let's go ahead and jump on over right now. So what you're looking at is the landing page for Adobe Spark. There are three different ones that you can use, Spark Post, Spark Page, and Video. We're gonna be using Spark Post for this. So I'm gonna click on the green plus sign, and we're going to start from scratch. And pick whatever size you want. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the Twitter size. It doesn't matter, you could always change it afterward. You can use the images that are here, but I recommend always to use your own images. Let me click on this image. This was a wall in Austin that has graffiti all over it. Really awesome. If you're ever in Austin, you gotta check this place out. It's amazing. Um, really cool outdoor art. So I'm gonna use this one as my background. First off, you see the image there is a little bit large. I kinda wanna remove some of this area where you see the telephone pole here. So what I can do is scale this image some so that all I see is graffiti on that wall there. All right, now let's double click that text and let's, let's say artful. I'm gonna use artful and let's increase the size. So all you need to do is grab one of those little corners there, drag it out and you can make it larger or smaller. And let's center that up. You see the little guidelines there. So over on the right hand side, you'll choose a different font. Go with this one here and you're close to being done here. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you'll want to click on that text and make sure that it's selected. So you can see those uh, corners there. Then what you want to do is head over on the right hand side and choose shape and look through here. There's different shapes. So just let me show you what happens when you click on them. The text takes on that characteristic, you see there. That's not the one I want to use. I want to go up here and choose this one here. Uh, there's no name for it. Basically, it's you're going to choose the ABC there that has a square. So when I click on it, boom, there you go. Now you can see the image through the text there. So if I shuffle here, it outlines it. Now the uh, text is filled with color. Shuffle it again, and now I have the background showing there. Now. It's kind of hard to read. What I'm going to do is click on the text again and choose color and swap it out. Let's go with a lighter color there. There we go. Now it's easier to read, go all white. It's up to you really which one you want to choose. Um, I kind of like this one here. I'm going to go with that one. And there you go. That's how easy it is to create a text image mask. And the next thing you'll do is just click download choose solid color and now you have a graphic that you can share on social media put it on your website send it in an email really cool really nice way to be creative with your images and really give out a message and tell a story really with uh text and images all right so hope you've enjoyed that so let's go ahead and jump back over to the screen and here we go and that is how easy it is to create these awesome graphics so that you can show images through the text, creating a mask effect using Adobe Spark Pose. Anyone can create these. Your students can create them. You can create them. Share them on social media, as I said before. Print them out if you want. Awesome, awesome way to be creative with your images. 
So until next time, please do click the subscribe button and check out my other videos and take care. Be good to one another. Peace.